the very first thing I would recommend, the best kind of meditation that I can highly recommend to everyone is just be quiet. Forget about the mind. Can we just be quiet during the day? Just be quiet. Do you there mean are... not to verbalize? Yes, not to verbalize. Like, for example, there are four categories of conversation we can possibly have. I would bring it up to all of you so you know what, what we talk about. Number one, there is this conversation that you want to have that, that you need to say something which is absolutely necessary and helpful. If that is the case, you go ahead and have that. Verbalize it and say it. Number one. Number two, but there are some categories of talk conversations that when you want to say it, a portion of it is helpful, but the, another portion of it is very, very harmful. So you need to evaluate, should I even mention it? Is the helpful part of it is much more important? So then if that is the case, then I would, I would mention it. If it's a portion of it that is extremely harmful and is going to hurt somebody or something, you would stop talking about it. Category three, there's a whole bunch of talking that we do during the day is neither help, help, helpful or harmful. It's just a fluff. It's just a fluff. It's like a hot air. The hot air has to go. Complete. And the category four, there are some, some words that we, we will say is completely hurtful, completely is going to damage. That is definitely has to stop. So you, when, whenever you want to open your mouth, mouth you just, or ask even as a question, you know, I was a teacher. I was a math teacher for many years in colleges and high school. I would, sometimes I would notice people, kids, high school kids, they just want to open their mouth and say that I am here. They ask a kind of a question is not even relevant. A lot of people are like that. They just want to say, look at me again. I'm here. Notice me. That's again, and that's ego. The ego wants to be here, to be recognized. So let me just raise this question, unnecessary question. Okay. Or let me just say it. Just say it or just because of just saying something. No. If something, there's something to say, we will say it. If there's nothing to say, we would quiet down. Why we have to do that? Let me tell you why, so that maybe that clicks really good for all of you. You know, sometimes that like, if you if you are near a lake and there is a moon, moonlight, now you want to see the reflection of the moon in the lake, okay? This lake has to be completely calm and silent in order for you to see the reflection of the moon. Isn't that so? So, now imagine that if you're standing right next to this lake, any time we talk, is like we, we pour a bunch of rocks and we throw it in the middle of this lake. What happens in the lake? It creates all these ripples and you can't see the reflection of the moon inside. This is again another analogy. That's how our, this body is. This body is like a lake. When you talk, it's like you're throwing the rocks in it, in it, in it. So it wouldn't let, you cannot be able, once they drop, there's so many of them each day, so many of them um, coming every day, every moment, this lake has never been silent and quiet, so you'll be able to, at least to see, recognize, there's a moon in there. So being quiet is extreme, is one of the best meditation you can possibly practice every day talking eliminate unnecessary talking over the phone with people because just remember the people are also have that egoic mind so there's so many things going on in their heads so what they do when they make phone calls they want to transfer that they pour it on top of yours your mind and makes that area again all these rocks goes on top of the your lake again. So you have your own rocks on top of you know somebody else's.